What's going on, family? Black Phoenix checking in. I am in the work district right now in Phoenix, kind of in a day at end, chilling right now, uh, actually waiting on someone. Um, just wanted to come to you real quick, man, just talk to you about uh, living here in Phoenix. Someone asked me, how has the independent living has been in Phoenix? And I ain't gonna lie to you, I have enjoyed certain things about the city, but if I would put it on a scale, bro, to me personally, this is just my personal opinion. This place is fucking depressing to me, man. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. It's just, I don't know if it's just the people. I wasn't, I wasn't able to connect with a lot of the people. I mean, it's like, it wasn't no culture with a lot of folks as far as like me being a black man and, you know, the loyalty that I'm used to and the respect that I'm used to and what I'm willing to give. You know, I just, I honestly, like, I don't have, I didn't, I haven't met a comrade where, you know, I'm out here. I've been out here three years. And I don't have no one that I network with daily. Like, not one dude that I call all the time and we chop it up or we get money. Not one. You know, it started off like it was going to be something cool with a couple guys. Like, man, it's going to be cool. But then, you know, everybody on their own level. It's just different, man. It's, it's different out here. So, I didn't go to prison coming out here. But I swear I've been living like I've been in prison. I've been fucking isolated. Like, I do not fuck with nobody. You know what I mean? Like, I've been just doing my own thing, man. You know, building products, networking myself with services, doing jobs, doing turnarounds, you know, um, doing uh, contract work, you know, whatever helps and pays, you know what I mean, so the money has been, like, I have got some money out here, don't get me wrong, you know what I mean, but as far as, like, my peace and tranquility, you know what I mean, like, bro, it's been depressing out here, because, I, like I say, I haven't found that comrade, I haven't found someone that I can actually get money with on a eye-to-eye -eye level, you know what I mean, it's always, damn, I thought we was cool, I thought we probably could have built something, but it didn't work out, you know what I mean, so, I don't know, man. But I can say this point, you know what I mean? I think that I had to move here to go through what I went through to build my business. So I'm cool with that. But, you know, I feel like in order to get to where we're going to get to, you're going to make sacrifices. You're going to have to go places. And, and I actually came here with a complete leap of faith. I didn't have no family here, no friends. I'm from Little Rock, Arkansas. I just said, fuck it. I want to get far as away I can. I came to Phoenix and said, hey, we're going to do this. And that's what I did, man. I stepped on, you know, I stepped on water and and um, and I survived. You know, me and my wife, we did it. You know what I mean? But now I can actually say that I have found my niche, I feel. And I think it's time for me to move around. I think my time here has expired in the city. Um, just dude, because I just, you know, I don't know, man. I know I can get money and I can always come back and visit certain places if I want to. But... I would rather be comfortable and happy and know I can get a bag anywhere than just be somewhere just getting a bag and I'm miserable. You know what I mean? Like, unhappy. So, the city, did, I mean, it's a cool spot to visit, man. But for me personally, like, if you got culture, you're a black person with culture and, and, and you know who you are and, and you're woke, man, you like to visit here. You know what I mean? I mean, actually, you can't build something here. Don't get me wrong. But, you know, to each his own. Just to me personally... You know, you're going to have to have your team with you because if you're trying to build a brand new team with your morals out here, it ain't going to work. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, they're going to look at you like you fucking retarded. You know what I mean? But it's all good, though. Uh, like I say, man, I just wanted to say that my time here is about to expire. Hopefully, this is my last year here or last few months here, and I'll be moving on. So uh, it has been fun. I did learn a lot. I had to establish, you know, I came here to establish my business. Uh, I did what exactly what I wanted to do. And, you know, now it's time to move on, man. So... Um, city's been good to me, man. You know, it's been it's been it's been okay. You know, I've, I've faced a lot of racism, a lot of hate. You know, but it's, it is what it is, man. You know, but and I can't say this. I faced more racism here, and I'm from the south. The racism here was more bolder than it was in the south. And I'm gonna be honest with you. At least in the south, that helps you. You know, they might call you a nigga when they walk off, but here, boy, woo, hey, this is the wild wild west, man. You know what I mean? So I, I learned a lot from being here. But I will say this, you're going to have to take a, a chance when you leaping out to do something different in a new community, in a new area. So just be ready to face different things and be ready to uh, stand alone sometime because that's what you might have to do. Hold on.